Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I hope that you guys are doing good. In this frequency problem, time needed to buy tickets. It simply says that I'll explain you very simply that we have some tickets. Now, ticket is a form of a queue. So these people are standing and they want these number of tickets. So this is the front of the queue and this is the back of the queue. And every second, one person from the front of the queue will buy one ticket and will move in the back of the queue same way it will keep on repeating okay now the front person will become him and he will buy one ticket and he will back at the and he will go in the back of the queue we want that what is the time when the second person again second person by them is zero based so zero one two he is the second person what is that time when the second person is able to buy all the tickets whatsoever he wanted so if we replicate the exact same process what will happen is that okay we again remember that our aim is to make sure that this person the second person is able to buy all the tickets whatsoever you want and it will start off from the front of the queue the first person will buy one ticket and he will go in the back so remaining tickets for him will be one this person next person will buy one ticket and he will go in the back okay for him the remaining tickets are two this person whom we wanted buy one ticket and will move in the back okay now he will also be remaining with one tickets again make sure that he is our aim now in the next uh, operation this person will buy one ticket and will move in the back okay but he won't not be moving in the back because he whatsoever ticket he wanted he has got so he will move out of the queue itself now <clears throat> The, the, ne this next person will buy one ticket and will move in the back okay one ticket and will move in the back now this person will buy one ticket and will move in the back but this person is, is the person whom we wanted that he should buy the ticket so he will buy that specific ticket and we are good to go so what happened that we again if we saw two three two so one we did again he moved the back then again one we did he moved the back then again one we did he moved in the back then again one we did one two three three or one again one we did he moved in the back okay like he has gone again one we did he moved in the back now this was the one which he wanted and again one ticket we will buy and we will actually be saying okay he's the person we wanted for two tickets and we are good to go so this is the reason we get six in number six time needed to actually make him this person at k equal to buy whatever ticket he wanted so we simply realize that okay it is q in which first person i will keep on i will maintain the indexes in the queue because i want to make sure that i add this index k which means id needed i want that he should get whatsoever ticket he wanted else whatsoever is before or after him i don't like worry about them for example if i take this case then okay we have five one 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 so this is a queue okay and i want the zero index one which means this is my actual main priority person so he will buy one ticket and he will move in the end okay remaining tickets with him is four one time done he will buy one ticket and he will move okay one ticket bought time done but he's also done uh, next he also will buy one ticket and he will also be done okay next he will buy one ticket and he will also be done okay then i will have four tickets and again you know that he was the person who needed the tickets so he will keep on buying one ticket one ticket one ticket one ticket four time after four time he will be able to buy all his tickets and you can see four plus four will be eight and that is the answer so we can simply realize that we can simulate this entire process we can take a simple queue in which we will put in what i mean you can put in all the values also whatsoever you want but how will you even figure out that this value because you have to stop you have to stop when your k when your k equals to you basically when your id has reached your k then you have to stop so what you will do okay you will take a queue in which you will push in all the indexes okay you push all the indexes okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 again i'm taking this example you will push all the indexes after pushing the indexes you will just remove from the front okay q dot front and q q dot pop you will remove it you will firstly reduce it again because time needed will increase by one because you removed it and you used one time to basically use this one of the k like one of the values time will increase this value what is the value right here again let's name it as q dot front will let's say give you a id int id now this id value what's the value you have let's say nums of id you will decrease because that you don't want any like that 
its value you have reduced by one because you have increased the time and you have reached onto that specific place. Now, when this is done, you know that either he can go in the back or he can go out of the queue. If 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 this value, which means if this value nums of id is become has become zero, if nums of id has become zero, then bro, no worries, don't have to go in the queue again. But if it is not equal to zero, then please, bro, please push it in the back queue dot push and just push in the specific id again in the queue but uh, rn why you did not check k yeah that is one thing we can have a quick check of k that if the current id was a k and it became a zero it became a zero oh we have achieved whatever we wanted and we can simply return and we can say that okay nums of id is equals to zero then we can simply say okay we have achieved and whatsoever is the time needed that is the time we will actually need and this is the thing which we can write to simulate the process. We will see what is the time which it will need. But this is what we can write to simulate the process. Now, if I show you, you can simply see that uh, I had my queue in the very beginning. I pushed in all the elements in the queue from the front to the end. I pushed in all the elements. Then this is the variable which I wanted time needed. Then until my queue is empty, which means, okay, until unless things are done, I will go on to every of the, again, you see, queue has indexes itself in the entire array in the entire queue so as soon as i land out to any index i will increase the time i know i will pop out the front of the queue i will reduce the value again you actually are seeing that you are modifying if you are modifying the input array itself although i will not recommend it you can make another copy of the area also that is also completely fine or you can mark things as maybe count or something like that you can just keep track of that also but again space use will be o of n extra but you are also using a queue which will again take a o of n space so that is completely fine if you are going into that direction you can confirm with your interviewer now uh, we have grabbed the front element we will just reduce its value because we know that the queue contains indexes so i have the id of the front element i will reduce its corresponding value now after reducing there is a chance that whatsoever index i was at that was an index i needed as the key and also it has become a zero then bro i have got what is it whatever is the current time which we are at that is i can return if not then i can simply see that if it is not equal to zero i can again push back that element in my queue i can again push back in the queue it will be pushed back from the end that is the speciality of a queue you will remove from the front and you will push in the end now now ultimately uh, there is a chance that uh, you will get whatsoever time that time you can ultimately return in the end also usually what will happen that time will be returned from here itself so it you would not be needing to go outside but still uh, for safe case you can just put a, in a re re return condition outside also but now comes the fact what is the time complexity of this what is happening what is happening is that you are landing onto any specific location you at one second at one second you will remove you will reduce the value by one and then you will push it back you will again go on to next one you will reduce its value and then you will push it back now if i see very generically if i show you that you have elements let's say three 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 so this will be reduced and pushed it back okay let's say it pushed it back and became a two then this will reduce and push pushed back okay two this will reduce push back okay too so you will see that things he will reduce and push back now again this element which was at the first location he will again be reduced by one and push back again reduced by one and push back so how many times he can reduce he can reduce three times one time it reduced here and two times it can reduce here so i realized that okay this three 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 this number can be reduced three times at max this number can be reduced three times at max same for this same for this same for this same for this and same for this I have n numbers on every reduction is one process. So I realized that okay, every of these numbers, I have let's say n numbers, every of the numbers can be reduced three times. So n into three will be my time complexity because this will be the maximum time needed considering this is the k I wanted. And again, I'm only counting about the maximum time. Now in this case, in this case, let's say if it was a three, in this case, uh, like can't I say the upper bound, the upper bound of time complexity will be if I modify all of these as 4, 4, 4, 4 and 4 and 4 and 4. Sorry, let's say what's the maximum element? Let's say 6, 6, 6, 6 and 6 and 6. So I can simply say now that n is let's say the number of elements 
maximum time like maximum value of any element let's say it is 6 so it will be n into 6 that will be the maximum time needed because i will have these many number of cycles and on every cycle i will have n elements going on so i realize that time complexity will be n into maximum of tickets of i make sure that time complexity will be a bit less than that because i have different values at every step and which is which may or may not be equal to the maximum value but we are just considering the worst possible case and that will be n into maximum of tickets of i and again by the question example maximum of tickets of i is actually itself equal to n so it will roughly be equal to n into again i'll say m so it can be n into m you can say space will be used o of n because you are using a q of size n now the interviewer asks you can you improvise it but although it's an easy problem just considering that you can it's an easy problem because you can simulate the process of a q and can still get accepted because n is very less and m is also very less but if i have asked you if n would have been 1e5 and let's say m would have been 1e9 then you would have never been able to solve it with this strategy how will you use it then you can simply see that what is actually happening when i say that okay this is my k i have to remove this so make sure and realize and see what is happening i will show you let's say you have two three four three two one three now now i will not move in the back of the queue i will replace the element in place and will show you what is happening uh, okay and at the first second he will reduce by one now he will become one make sure that how make sure that at what step how much value they are being reduced by they will reduce by only one only one value but at what point they would not be needing to reduce much further so okay next element sorry if i just erase next element was three he will again reduce by one make sure our main aim is to make this our main aim is to make this value as zero that's it so he will he will reduce by two in this step he will reduce by one 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 i will keep on going until i am able to reduce this value to zero again he will reduce by one 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 you saw i did not reduce this so i can simply see that if something i am reducing okay this is the value i will this entire queue i am roughly kind of reducing every i will this entire queue this entire array i will reduce this many number of times now let's say this is k so if whatsoever i have nums of k or basically tickets of k but yeah let's say nums of k whatsoever i have nums of k that many number of times i am roughly trying to reduce but 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 if this is a zero well if if this is less as you can see value is less three is more one is less so oh i have reduced whatsoever is the maximum value of that so i can simply say that okay bro uh if i have tickets of let's say i let's say this is the index i and i have some tickets of k tickets of k so for sure whatsoever is the minimum of both of them i will reduce by that number i will reduce by that number that i index value i will re reduce by that number what's the what's the minimum so as you can see i reduced this i reduced this index by one and i reduced this index in total by two so this is the reason i took the minimum took the minimum but rn how did you realize okay let's hold on and let's keep on going so this is the time needed i am actually adding up to now you see that this has been the these two are following this condition but still we have to go on again let's go on that uh, we again uh, ha had reached here itself now again i will uh, be at the starting location again he he don't want to be reduced because he's, he's actually zero he will be reduced because again my main aim was to reduce this to zero but i have to go in the sequence form of q so this is done this is the next one he has to reduce okay zero he has to reduce okay this is one he has to reduce this is zero now your main aim is achieved so you will stop you realize what happened that now you have stopped now let's focus what has happened so this two has become zero this three has become zero because you saw that okay in the first query something happened in the first pass things got reduced by one in the second pass things got reduced by one in the third pass things got reduced by one so at this point itself 
things got reduced so you will realize that these elements are following are basically going for three passes but these elements are only going for two passes and that is the only strategy and what is three what is two three is what is the value of kth index so these starting element are going for uh, nums of k nums of k number of passes these ending elements are going for nums of k minus one number of passes and this is how much i should reduce but yeah it can happen that the existing value itself is less so please take the minimum please take the minimum so i know that on the left half i will reduce them by tickets of k values but on the right side i will reduce by tickets of k minus one values because i know this is how many times things will pass from their self so i simulated the process and realized what is actually happening behind the scenes and i will repeat the exact same stuff i will have the times needed i will make sure i will go on to all the elements but everything which is less than equal to k, which means this left portion i know that i have to reduce them by tickets of k value but make sure okay the value can itself be less of tickets of i so take the minimum minimum of tickets of k and tickets of i on the right side on this side which is more than k you will just take tickets of k minus one or tickets of i okay take the minimum so as to just incorporate whatsoever is the minimum of value you can take and thus you will be simply adding this in your answer and simply can return this answer thus you realize you are just using o of n time and space is constant using one variable which is o of one and that is how you can simply solve it in o of n time and o of one space cool thank you for watching bye take care bye, -bye. and you can just go and check the comment section for the new channel in which we have been posting amazing content in hindi bye, -bye.